welcome to my first impression of Tagami Bachi. So Tagami Bachi takes place in the world of Amberground, a place that is trapped in a perpetual night. The only light comes from an artificial sun that hangs over the capital city. Gaush Swade, who is this person here, uh, he, his job is to travel between the different districts and to deliver packages while fighting off the monsters that live in the darkness. These people are known as letter bees. Uh, one day, Gaush uh, picks up a package that is, that is to his shock, a young boy, which is this boy here. Uh, this boy's name is like Singh, and his mother was abducted, and he is now being sent to live with, his, with a relative in one of the outskirt towns. Uh, Gaush helps the boy make, um, make it to his destination, and Lag vows that one day he will become a letter bee, just like Gaush. Also, um, I'm saying Gaush, but I'm not 100% sure that that is the pronunciation of the name. I will, sh if I just show you the back for a second, um, you should be able to see his name there. I have no idea how you pronounce that. So I'm guessing Gaush, but I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, please tell me how to pronounce it correctly because I have no idea. So anyway, uh, five years after that, after this occurs, Lag is on his way to an interview to become a letter beat when he comes across a young girl with a package label on her. Because the label is incomplete and not correctly filled out, the letter bees refuse to deliver her. So Lag takes it upon himself to, the, to deliver the girl to her destination, as he sees himself in her and wants to do for her what Gouch did for him. Uh, but what he doesn't know is that this girl has a secret that may lead him into some trouble. Uh, so I really enjoyed this first volume. I didn't know anything about the series going into it. I had no idea what it was about or anything like that. I had seen it uh, on the shelf of a local library before, but aside from that, I really knew nothing about it except what the cover looks like. <laughs> uh, but I ended up really enjoying it. The story is uh, very interesting and unique. I like the premise uh, and how the story begins with some backstory on the main character to show you like, why he, he's decided to become a letter B and sort of give you like context of the character motivations so yeah um, all the characters are introduced so far are really likeable and interesting and have backstories to them that I'm hoping will be explored more in further copies uh, aside from the interesting story time the manga offers some very lovely artwork by Hiroyuki Asada uh, Asada's artwork is very shonen like uh, and that has very thick line, thick dark lines, as you can see in a lot of these panels, uh, particularly in more of the action sequences. You can see that there are thick dark lines. Yeah. Yeah. So the art is very lovely, particularly in the few color pages that are at the beginning of the volume. That will just give you a quick look at those. You can see the kind of artwork that goes into this. Um, the characters are well designed and each look unique and the monsters, landscapes and action scenes are all very well drawn. So overall this was a really good start to the series and I would like to see how the story progresses over time. Uh, so if you're into shonens and stuff like that, this might be an interesting one to pick up. I don't see a lot of people talk about this for this series. I haven't really seen it in, I haven't seen it in maybe one or two people's collections of all the many, many manga collection videos I've watched so that makes you wonder why people don't talk about it if maybe the story starts off good and then maybe it goes off or something or perhaps it's just a hidden gem that I've discovered who knows but I think I'll definitely continue this one and see where it goes thanks so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a like and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this um, if you've read Takami Bachi or know anything about it uh, let me know and if you know how to pronounce uh, the name from the beginning please let me know I'm very sorry if I butchered the name I I tried really hard but I have no idea how you would pronounce it because it, it's just not a name that I've seen before so yeah thank you very much for watching this video all the way through and I'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>